Hey guys, it's Thursday morning and I thought I would check in because I haven't checked in today. Um, I started Paper Girls Volume 1 early this morning before the kids got up. I only read a few pages of it. Um, I like it so far, um, but other than that, I haven't touched it. And I started listening to the audiobook of Dope Sick. Um, oh, the author's name escapes me again. But um, I listened to like the first hour this morning and while I was like getting ready and stuff. And um, it's really good. It's like depressing, but it's very informative and very good. Um, so I think I'm really gonna like that one. It's all about the opioid crisis in America and kind of how it started. She's kind of trying to trace it back to its origins and also talking about things, you know, from like 100 years ago where they were basically selling heroin at the pharmacy, <laughs> you know. Um, until they realized how addictive it was. Um, just really fascinating stuff like that. Um, it was really sad. And the author's note at the beginning, she listed a bunch of names and the dates that they were born and the dates that they died. All these people, young people that died because of addiction. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a sobering book. But one that I think I'm really going to get a lot from, so... Yeah, so we don't really have any plans today, <laughs> again. Um, we're gonna go to my mom and dad's for dinner, like we do every Thursday. It's kind of our time to go and visit my family. My brother usually will come over too with um, with his kids, who are, who are older than my kids. His kids are teenagers, but um, we still like to all see each other, so. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of doing some housework. The kids are playing um, in a sensory bin that I made for them. It keeps them busy for a while while I can get some housework done. And other than that, I'm just gonna try to uh, finish Paper Girls by the end of the day. And yeah, that's pretty much it as far as the plans go today. Um, hoping that tomorrow we'll be able to set up a play date or do something fun because we have been kind of cooped up all week and we're starting to get kind of antsy. <laughs> I mean, we've played outside here in the yard and stuff, but I feel like we need to venture out and do something outside of the house because it's, it's just starting to feel a little bit, oh, cabin fever-ish. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll check in with you guys later. Uh, and from Yep, circle it. Good job. Hey guys, it is Thursday afternoon and I completed another book. Big surprise, I completed Paper Girls Volume 1 by Brian K. Vaughn. Um, this was a really, really quick read. Um, basically read it in one sitting. Um, and I liked it, but it left me a little bit confused. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, I really love the art style and the color palette. It's really good. Um, and I love the nostalgia of like, you know, childhood and such because the main characters are 12 years old. But the story itself, like I said, I'm a little confused. So I definitely am going to continue with the series um, just to see if some of my questions get answered. So um, yeah, this wasn't too bad and I'll have to get my hands on the second volume soon. So I'm gonna go in the front room and pick out my third book for the readathon. So this um, this fulfilled, I believe I had this one as my challenge to read a book that's been on my list because it's been on my TBR for the longest, I think, of all the books that I had on my TBR for this readathon. So that challenge has been completed. So now I'm going to go in the front room and pick out another book. Okay, I think that this is going to be a fairly easy choice um, because like, honestly, I picked this one because it started with an S, but I don't really think I'm in the mood for like a sad historical fiction right now. I'm just not really in the mood for that. Um, and I feel like between these two, I feel like this one is the one that I am the most drawn to. And like I mentioned in my TBR video, the, like, the way that this book is set up, I feel like it's going to go really quickly, which is, you know, what you want in a readathon. 
So I think I'm going to go with Any Man by Amber Tamlin. Good morning. I'm having a smoothie again. This is not my favorite kind, um, but I had some spinach to use up <laughs> in the fridge. So this has spinach, frozen pineapple, wait, spinach, frozen pineapple, almond milk, and my protein powder. And it just doesn't really go well together. But I'm going to keep drinking it because I'm weird. So anyway, um, I didn't really update again last night, um, but I did start Any Man. I read the first chapter. And it's really good. The um, narrative style is unique. Um, she, Amber Tamblyn uses like a mixture of poetry and, um, you know, just regular prose in, in the writing. So it's, it's like mixed and it's, it's interesting. It really makes for an interesting um, way of storytelling. Um, and I'm already very intrigued by this whole concept of of rape and having it completely flipped on its head because let's be honest statistically most cases of rape are males raping females so to have it flipped it's just very intriguing <laughs> um i don't know a whole lot about the book i mean i've only like i said the first chapter was about 30 pages then i got sleepy so i went to bed but i'm really it's kind of grabs me and i definitely want to find out more so today, um, we might have plans later, but this morning it's raining. Lovely spring day here in Michigan, so it's raining, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. I do kind of want to get out of the house, so maybe we'll make a Target run or something <laughs> just to get out of the house. Um, and then hopefully our plans for later won't fall through because of the weather, because the thing we want to do is outside. And I can't say what it is because the kids will hear me and I don't want them to hear it right now. So anyway, so yeah, that's, our, that's my day. I'm going to get some chores done this morning. Maybe do a little bit of um, listening to my audiobook, um, and then hopefully maybe run to Target. So we're about to go into Target. Um, I'm a little bummed because I called to pre-register for the event that I wanted to take the kids to. And unfortunately, it's sold out. So we have to find something else fun for the four of us to do tonight. Um, so I'm kind of brainstorming there, but we're gonna head into Target and wander around and kill some time and go from there. You know how the saying goes that like when you go to Target, Target tells you what you need. Well, I went in there because I needed a gallon of milk and I got a gallon of milk, but then I also got um, this book, I Mom So Hard by Kristen Hensley and Jen Smedley. I love watching these two ladies online. Um, they're so funny and I'm going to actually see them live in July. They're coming um, to my area. So... I figured I would pick up their book because I forgot that it had come had, it had come out. So, yeah, I picked that up, and then I also got these dot stickers. Um, like I said, Target tells you what you need um, for like crafts and stuff with the kids. They love they love playing with these. So, I also was looking for bingo dabbers and I couldn't find them. So, yeah, random, but. Um, I am getting ready to have some lunch with the kids and then Hunter's going to take a nap and I'm hopefully going to have some, a long stretch of, uh, reading time this afternoon. I do have a few more things to do around the house, um, that I kind of put on the back burner so we could go to Target. So we'll see, but, uh, I will check in later.
Hey guys, it is Friday night, and I thought I would give you a quick update. Um, when Austin got home from work, we went out to the park, and we were there for quite a while, because it was actually very beautiful out. Um, and then we came home, we had dinner, and then we just kind of hung out together as a family, just hung out. Um, so I didn't get a ton of reading done this afternoon, but I did get to page 88 today of Any Man, um, and I'm really enjoying it. The narrative style is really unique. Um, I just like the way that um, Amber Tamlin is telling this story. It's really interesting, um, and it has already has a lot of commentary and stuff about rape culture, so it's got me thinking already, and it's definitely going to be one of those books that um, sticks with me, I think. So, um, ah, I'm just going to keep reading, and I will check in with you guys tomorrow, day six of Bookless Readathon. It's already almost over, my gosh. All right. Hey guys, it's Saturday afternoon and I haven't updated you like all day, so I apologize for that. Um, it's been a busy morning. We um, went this morning to Home Depot. Uh, they do this thing once a month uh, for kids where they can like build a craft thing and they were doing a birdhouse. So I took the kids to that. Um, Leia built her birdhouse. You saw some of the clips there and it was really fun. And then we came home, we packed up uh, a quick lunch and went to the park and spent the rest of the morning at the park because it is a beautiful day, just absolutely beautiful. So now we're finally home. Um, Hunter just went down for his nap, so I will finally be able to read some more of this book. Um, I made it to page 135 uh, last night and have not read it all today. So um, I'm really enjoying it though. Some of the writing in here is like the imagery is just wow. Um, like I just read a particular scene and I can't really say much of what it is because I don't want to be too spoilery, but um, it was like beautifully written, but like horrific. Like it's like it was almost like a scene that you would expect to see in a horror movie. Um, and I really like how the rapist in this, um, her, she is called Maud. Um, she is very supernatural like um and is definitely like described as being like a monster which is what you typically a word you would typically use to describe a rapist but in this case like she like legitimately sounds like she is a monster like for real <laughs> um so yeah it's really really interesting really good writing um it's yeah it's good i'm really enjoying it so I'm going to sit down and hopefully get a little bit more red. Um, and then I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the day. Um, it's such a beautiful day. We might still try to get out and do some more stuff outside just to enjoy the weather. Um, but while Hunter's napping, I'm going to try to get some reading in. I just had to share this really quick because it made me laugh out loud. <laughs> hey guys, it's Saturday night. Whew, I'm tired. Um, we just had a very exhausting day. Um, we took advantage of the weather. We were outside a lot. We did some stuff outside. Um, after dinner, we went and got ice cream, um, which I would have vlogged, but I forgot my phone in the car. So, yeah. But trust me, we went, and it was delicious. We went to Cold Stone. Very good. Um, and I managed to get to page one... 79 in any man so I will definitely be finishing this tomorrow the last day of the readathon so I'm really excited about that um, once again this is really good um, I think the last clip I showed you was this whole like section of the book it's just showing a bunch of different tweets that people have made regarding these rapes um, and everyone you know putting in their two cents on social media and it was just very powerful um, the kinds of things that, um, because each, like each clip or clip, each, um, thing shows you like who said it and then how many comments, how many retweets, 
and how many likes. And it's kind of sad, some of the stuff that you think would get more attention, um, but doesn't. And that's just the way social media works, right? Some of the stuff that just kind of goes viral and whatnot is just kind of ridiculous. And uh, so yeah, like Amber Tamlin is making a lot of different social commentaries in this book and I really, really like it. It's really good. So I don't know why my voice sounds so like scratchy. Sorry if I sound froggy. Um, but yeah, the kids are in bed. Um, I'm going to get my PJs on. Austin and I are going to watch or start watching season two of the OA on Netflix. Um, cause we really liked the first season. So when we heard they were doing a second one, we were like, yes, please. So I'm going to do that and pass out. And then tomorrow is the last day. No more readathon after tomorrow. What am I going to do? I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's it. Good night. Good morning. It is Sunday, day seven of Bookless Readathon. I'm currently in the Kroger parking lot. Um, Hunter and I are about to go do some grocery shopping. Austin and Leia went up to um, this gun club that Austin is a part of, and they are doing a um, like a competitive three gun shoot. And Austin is helping them set it up. Um, and making sure everything runs smoothly so he isn't actually taking part in the in the shoot today but he wanted to take Leia because she's been asking to go and see what it's all about so yes so they're doing that and um, um Hunter and I are gonna grocery shop so so it'll be nice because I'll probably have a pretty quiet morning once we get back um, I have to clean up the kitchen and stuff because it is a disaster um, and then I'll be able to just kind of relax for a little while so Hopefully I'll get some more reading in. I only have like 80 or 90 pages left of Any Man. So I'm definitely going to finish it today. So that's exciting. But for now, I'm going to go in and grocery shop. Probably my least favorite thing to do in the whole world. Hey guys, it is Sunday afternoon. thought I would check in. I'm in the gym parking lot because I'm about to go work out. Because I haven't gone since Wednesday. Um, so I got to get it done today. Um, so yeah, I only have about 60 pages left of any man. And again, I'm super enjoying it. Um, I think most people would like this book, but some won't because of the narrative structure. I can see why some people would be put off by it. Um, in that it's not exactly linear. And like I've said in like, you know, previous chats with you guys the structure is there's a lot of different ways in which Amber Tamlin tells the story so there's um instant messenger messenger conversations there's tweets there's obviously just you know there's poetry there's news articles there's um transcripts of like tv news correspondence um like having discussions so it's it's different, but I really enjoy it. Um, I find books like that to be really refreshing um, because you just don't read books like that all the time. So, um, yeah, I'm really close to the end. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into the gym. I'm gonna listen to more of Dope Sick, which is also a very good book. Um, listen to that while I work out, and then um, come home and hopefully get some more reading in. Um, hopefully get the book done before dinner that's my goal we'll see though because um it's been kind of a busy day any as it is um not so much that like we have a bunch of stuff going on but like I'm just doing a lot of stuff around the house so um I'm just not I just haven't had a, like found the time to really sit down and read much today um I kind of like hit the ground running today so yeah I am gonna go work out and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later hey so it is Sunday Afternoon, it's almost four o'clock, and I finished Any Man by Amber Tamlin. Um, I'm not gonna say too much here because I'm still kind of processing <laughs> what I just read. Um, this is a very powerful read. Um, I'm thinking four stars, but I still have to think on it a little bit. Um, I really enjoyed the narrative style, which I know is not going to be for everyone. Like I said before, it's not gonna be for everyone. I liked it. Um, I also liked 
what she had to say in here about rape culture, about the way that society treats um, stories of rape and the victims of rape. Um, and she does it in a very effective way by turning it on its head and making the rapist a female. Um, and yeah, I'm just still processing. Um, there are a couple of passages in here of writing that were just so good. So good. Um, Amber Tamblyn, I guess, this is her first novel, but she has written some poetry. And now I really want to read her poetry because I really enjoyed her writing. Um, there were some, like I said, some scenes in here that were poetic, beautifully written, haunting. Like I said, on the borderline, like, horrific. <laughs> um, like, in particular, without spoiling anything, there's a scene in here where she writes, uh, someone is peeling an orange. Very simple thing, peeling an orange, but the way she writes it, it's, like, horrifying. If that makes any sense. If that kind of piques your interest, you might want to check this out. It was very good. Um, but like I said, I'm still kind of processing everything in it. For being such a short book, there's a lot going on. So, yeah. But this is my third book for the readathon that I've completed. This one was um, read a book by a, a new author, new to me. So I have never read Amber Tamblyn. So I get to knock that one out. Um, I think I might, I might sign sign off for the vlog here because I don't plan on reading any more of the books from my TBR today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just maybe later tonight before bed get started on one of my um, books on my regular April TBR because there's no way that between now and midnight I'm going to finish another book. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> so I'm really happy though. I, I read three books in a week, which is not my norm. I definitely pushed myself and read more than I normally do. And that's the whole point of a readathon. So I'm very happy about that. And I read some great books. I mean, Daisy Jones and the Six was amazing. I loved it. I'm still like reeling over that book. I just loved it so much. This book was very good. Paper Girls was good. Not awesome, but it was good. So, I mean, I had a good week. And I hope that you guys um, enjoyed this vlog. I know it may be a little bit boring because I live kind of a boring life. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I don't know. I just hope you guys enjoyed it. And I really appreciate you following me on this readathon journey. Um, but with that, I'm going to sign off. Um, yeah, that's all I have. So, let me know. In the comments if you took part in the readathon um, I will probably do more of a more like concise in-depth wrap-up of these books in my April wrap-up because I'm still kind of processing them um, so I don't want to do wrap-up right now but let me know down below if um, you took part in the readathon and what you read and how you did because I would love to hear about it um, and thank you to Lindsay and Sarah for hosting this readathon um, and for doing Booklist Thursday because I love those videos. It's a great series that they do and I hope that they continue to do it. So, and I hope that they do this readathon again because I had a lot of fun. So, okay, for real, I'm signing off. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.